We have just made it to the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Today is a super exciting day. I cannot wait to tour this resort and to see a room, a three bedroom grand suite. I've never in my life had an opportunity to see a room like this here at the Walt Disney World property. We're gonna be at the Kadani Village, but you know what? I think we need to take a little detour and stop at the Jumbo House side of the resort. There are two pieces of the Animal Kingdom Lodge. The first is the Jumbo House that we're gonna make a quick trip to here on the right. And then we're gonna head over to Kadani Village where our gorgeous three bedroom suite is. We're gonna do that next. So let's head into Jumbo House, check this side out first, and then head over to Kadani Village. Welcome to the Animal Kingdom Lodge. We have made it here to the Jumbo House side of the resort. They have lots of primarily rental rooms. The Kadani Village, we're gonna get to in just a few minutes. We're gonna head inside, take a look at the wonderful eateries that they have, some of the animals, the pools, and the amenities that are on this side of the lodge before we head over to our beautiful room over at Kadani Village and checking out what they have. Let's head inside. We are right here under the Porta Cochere, the carport where Bell Services will greet you. And you can head right inside to the main lobby of Jumbo House. This section of the resort is probably what most people think of when they think of Animal Kingdom Lodge. It has this absolutely stunning grand lobby. Even in holiday time, they have a stunning Christmas tree that reaches to the top of the lobby, lots of decorations. And this is one of the more well-known lobbies that are on Walt Disney World property. Just all of the details that go into it and kind of the smell, the very unique, beautiful smell that's in this lobby. Lots of people know and remember. So it's kind of, uh, where do we start? I don't know. <laughs> Let's come over here, off to our left when you come in. Here is the main front desk. It is very large and expansive. If you have any questions, they have con concierge here that can help you with any of your ticket, uh, room issues, inquiries, you name it, they can help you down here at the front desk and the concierge service. Then we'll kind of make our way around the lobby. I have had the pleasure of staying at Jumbo House a couple times. It's not exactly where we're staying today. We are going to be at the most wonderful place ever over at Kadani Village, a gorgeous, gorgeous location and suite. I'm gonna head out onto the patio here adjacent to the lobby. It looked like the main staircase in the lobby wasn't open for me to go downstairs. But from up here, this is perfect because just off the side of the lobby, I wanted to point out a piece of this resort that I find super enjoyable is similar to the Wilderness Lodge. There is lots of veranda space where you can just sit, relax, maybe read a book, just enjoy a very peaceful atmosphere down here. We're going to go downstairs in just a moment, but you can see that there's more spaces where you can just sit and relax over on the other side as well. Fireplace. So we'll head on down towards the animal area first. And don't fret, we might be in the Jumbo House side of things, but Kadani Village also has a very sprawling large area for animals that you can check out as well. So you can come to either side and location to take a look. So 
So right out here is the Savannah Overlook. And they almost always have zookeepers and cast members who are knowledgeable of what's transpiring out on the savannah at any given time. See, look, there's a giraffe out here right now that we can go take a look at. Maybe we can go get a closer look of him right around the corner. And so much seating where you can just relax and enjoy the peacefulness of the animals. If you don't happen to have a room with a savannah view, to me, I think that is just fine. You can still enjoy every moment of this resort. And there's lots of ways to sit out and enjoy the peacefulness of the animals without necessarily having a balcony like some of these savannah rooms do. So let's come around here and take a look at the giraffe that's around the corner. Here's another location where they have activities and fire pit right here. Oh, you just, I don't know any resort where you can get these types of experiences other than the Animal Kingdom Lodge. so peaceful and throughout the day there's many animals that just roam freely you can come out here and enjoy and this area is open till dusk let's see what's on this side before we head over to the pool area Oh, not too much on this side. I see some zebras there in the distance. Just some zebras here. <laughs> Looks like some wildebeests as well back there. And throughout the day, you can just come out and see if you wanted to sit out here, enjoy, even on the hot days, they have fans available. Make it a little bit cooler. And this is part just off of the main lobby here at Jumbo House. So with that said, we're gonna head towards the pool, but before we go to the pool, we're going to stop by some of what I believe are the more famous restaurants here at Walt Disney World property. We'll head towards Boma before we head out to the pool. And what I wanted to mention is even if you are just coming here to dine, maybe you're not an actual Animal Kingdom Lodge guests, but you want to make a reservation at one of the restaurants here, Boma, for example, you can still come out to these main Savannah overlooks, have a seat, enjoy, relax, make it a part of your evening or your lunch or your breakfast morning, all in one opportunity here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. So it looks like this little space, they're doing some refurbishment just right in this, this main section here. So we will just step around. Here in the lobby, if you are still waiting for your room, there is quite a bit of space. Maybe you also might be waiting to leave. You're departing and you're waiting for a 
a taxi or anything like that. A lot of space, it's nicely air conditioned in here. Look at the details, <laughs> I almost walked right over it. I love this. All throughout the lobbies here, they have some of this artwork and occasionally you'll have cast members who will be here with crayons and paper and they talk with the kids and they have the kids kind of sketch with paper and make sketches over these. Not on them, you know, over them, but and a, a nice souvenir that the kids can take home. Another thing that I absolutely have to point out. So Adam has always been a huge fan of some of the different fireplaces that are around Walt Disney World property. And there are some gorgeous, gorgeous fireplaces. Jumbo House is no exception. Just beautiful mosaic tile there. And again, so many chairs and seating where you might want to walk, sit down, enjoy a book, right here around the fire, maybe grab a drink. And some of the artwork, just the details that has gone into this lobby itself is absolutely stunning. I think that's why so many people are drawn to the Animal Kingdom Lodge. As we head downstairs, we'll head right over here. The lounge right above Boma. It's available for you to pick up a drink. Victoria's Falls Lounge is open from 4 to 11 p.m. And they have a number of different cocktails that are specialty. Uh, I noticed here even South African wines along with it and a few of uh, appetizers to go along with it. Marinated olives with almonds, spiced duck drumettes, goat cheese dip. That sounds good. Burger and chips. Oh, that sounds really good actually. Cape Town Slap Chips. Basically with chips with blue cheese crumbles. That looks delicious. So the Victoria's Fall Lounge, in my experience, I have seen it get relatively busy here depending on the day. Uh, so come up here, you can stay, you can go, but it is quiet right now because we're in between seating times for Boma. We're kind of looking down into it. So it can get a little bit noisy. If you're looking for a location that's a little more quiet and reserved, maybe get your drink and then go sit in one of those overlook balconies like I was showing you. Just downstairs from the main lobby is, <laughs> I will say it is a huge fan favorite. This is the infamous Boma and Boma is a buffet. They have a wonderful African inspired buffet. And although that can be a little uh, nerve wracking for some to say, I don't know what that all means. They have such wonderful spices and variety of anything when it comes to dinner, chicken, beef, pork, they have uh, noodle dishes, they have rice dishes, they have salad, soup, and I think one of the things that people go crazy over are particularly the desserts that are usually right on the end there. We'll have to do a BOMA review very soon. <laughs> but they go from 5 to 9.30. And I highly recommend to get reservations for them. They're usually not super difficult to get, but make a reservation. I, it, it can make things complicated if you come without a reservation. So add that to your list. I highly recommend it. I don't know anybody who's not a fan. And if you're not a fan or you are a fan, put a comment in. I'd love to know, are you a fan of Boma? Here is the current pricing for Boma. Although I was just talking about dinner, I have been here for breakfast as well. 
it's good to note that neither are th of these are character dining. There's no character dining at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. So if you're looking for anything with characters, you're gonna have to look for other locations or even Animal Kingdom. The park, the theme park right next door has Tusker House, which is fantastic as well. So also to note, right across from Boma, Jico is a stunning upscale restaurant. And I regret I have never eaten here. I've wanted to many, many times. And I know they have fantastic food. I just haven't gotten around to it. It will definitely be top on my list. I've been talking about it for a long time. So hopefully you guys can let me know what you think if you've been there. A good amount of appetizers. We have entrees here that you can take a look. And Chico's, for sure, you want to make a reservation for. That is a definite, with it being an upscale location. Right outside is the Jumbo House pool. I think it is beautiful. I think it's one of the best pools on property. Everybody's really partial to a couple different resort pools. I think this one's fabulous. This is just right outside Chico. So when you are sitting on those tables there, you have this beautiful, peaceful water atmosphere outside your windows. Before we go out to the pool, I'm gonna go into the Mara since we're talking about food anyway. They have a quick service. And in the quick service, lots of great options for you if you ever want to know about their activities your app can give you all of that as well but this gives you a little bit of overlook of what they have going on all of the disney properties have movies that you can go take a look at and see lots of great ones here on this list Let's head into the Mara and look at some of their quick service options. And you can mobile order this area as well too. Really, really nice. Lots of seating for quick service. So if you are over at the Kadani Village, where we're going to be staying. You can come over here, have some to-go food here at the Mara, enjoy the pool, and then head on back. Plenty of pickup and to-go options. Everybody loves uh, the bakery, so if you want something quick for breakfast versus going to a full, breakfast over at Boma. For Earth Month, this is the seasonal treat, the raindrop tart, chocolate cake, pistachio crumb, passion fruit gel, vanilla cheesecake, and white chocolate mousse. But otherwise, they have a typical pepperoni flatbread for $12.79, tomato and herb ricotta flatbread for $12.79, pepperoni, bacon cheddar burger, chicken strips, they have some bowls that are like salads. And then you can come pick up a number of things that are just in the case. So if you just want something simple, like a grilled chicken Caesar salad. Uh, to be honest, I really come to enjoy the turkey and cheddar sandwich for myself. I, it's $7.79. It actually has a good amount of turkey sandwich in there. And I like that it has vegetables, the tomatoes and the cucumbers and the apple chips. Sounds odd, I know, but I actually really like it so, for myself. So a couple of sandwiches. Here is what a lot of people come for, the zebra cupcakes, the zebra domes right there. 
you can you don't have to go to Boma to get them you can get them here at the Mara quick service chocolate chip Mickey cookie is down here the brownie for $5.49 and then they have some allergy friendly options as well oh here the raindrop tart that's the seasonal specialty right there and then a carrot cake cheesecake tart that we're looking at so lots of to-go quick service options you can mobile order or you can just come in here and pick them up with plenty of seating as well we'll take a quick look at the pool here at jumbo house also here on this side they have a an arcade they have a fitness center and there's pool towels available they have in this pool area they have a slide that's in the back over there it's right in the back that kids can use but it is a pretty large pool deck and it, right in this section over here is zero entry. So if you have anybody that needs zero entry or any little ones who prefer that, that is an option. And then another lounge out here on the pool deck that you can order things as well. That's the uh, um, Maji, M-A-J-I pool bar. So if you're looking for times for that. And then right along the back, I gotta get going over to Kidani because our room is gonna be ready any minute. But right in the back, there is more animal viewing on the other side of this pool. Plenty of towels here and towel returns. One thing that I love being that this is a deluxe resort. Yeah, we can show it a little bit over here. The pool chairs are really nice and plush. I absolutely love how comfortable the pool chairs are here at specifically the Animal Kingdom Lodge and a lot of the deluxe resorts. So we just covered a short amount of things here at the Jumbo House side, but we need to get over to our gorgeous room over at the Kadani Village side of things, which you can walk in between it is quite a lengthy walk i would say it's about a half mile maybe a little less maybe a little more but it's about a half mile from lobby to lobby it's not really scenic however for today's video i drove over here to the jumbo side so i'm going to drive over to the kadani side so that I can show you some of the indoor parking that they have. They have outdoor parking over here on Jumbo, but they have a nice indoor section to kind of a garage, which I think is a great addition to this property. It's not an extra fee or a valet or anything like that. So let's drive over there so we can take a look and we can see all the other great amenities before we head up to our room. See you over there. We made it just right next door to the Jumbo house. Is the Kadani village where we are gonna go check out this amazing room. Off to the left is a sports court and barbecue area that you can use. And one of the unique parts of this resort is that they have parking underneath the building and there are no other resorts that have that ability so I thought that was really unique that is just for Animal Kingdom Lodge and Kadani Village so let's head on up and we'll get a place to park and take you through the lobby and this amazing three-bedroom grand suite. 
So we just drove over from the Jumbo House and one of the unique pieces to this resort is there is parking underneath the building. So you can come here and find a spot that's shaded underneath the buildings and keeps your car nice and cool. And they, I am not aware of any other Walt Disney World property that has this nice feature, uh, especially in the hot Florida sun, and you want to have a car that is not baking, this is great. Or you're not parking it alternatively in pouring rain. So I think this is a excellent perk of this particular side of the resort and the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Let's find a spot and head on in. After I parked, I decided to come straight to the room. It is ready for us. I do not want to wait any longer. I have never, ever in my whole life been able to witness a grand villa here at Walt Disney World. This is a three bedroom grand villa at Kadani Village here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. You guys are gonna come in and see it along with me and experience it and I'm super excited to see what this is all about. So this is our room number right here, Savannah View. So let's head on in, I propped the door open so that it was easy for us to get in. Wow, as soon as you get in, you're really welcomed by these, I don't even, oh my gosh, floor to ceiling windows overlooking the Savannah here. And that is most definitely a patio that we can go walk out onto. There is, and I see right off to my left here when you walk in is a second floor even. Okay, let's just start in the beginning. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed, there's so much to look at. When you first come in, I see that there's a bathroom here and it has a shower tub combo for you. The tile patterns are so adorable are so adorable. Also, they're stocked with some towels. You know, you have your trash can there and the famous Disney H2O soap, although they've removed the H2O logo on them <laughs> and they just say Disney Resorts now. But bathroom number one and some cabinetry where you can store things because if you're in a large room like this, you definitely probably need space to put any kind of uh, luggage or things that you might have brought, you know, along with three bedrooms worth of people. Definitely a nice size washer and dryer right here in the unit. These are part of DVC as well. So Disney Vacation Club members are used to having some of these amenities with the laundry detergent as well. And quite a nice size kitchen where it has all of the furnishings that you would enjoy with any kind of glasses, wine glasses, uh, water glasses here, a full microwave with a stove oven, coffee pot over here, and your Joffrey's coffee, along with tea and some creamers here for you to get you started. Plenty of coffee cups for everyone in the morning. And I know some of these kitchen cabinets have space if you brought groceries with you or if you have any delivered because you can have groceries deliver. I recommend it. There's a lot of services that can do grocery delivery here at Walt Disney World. You just have to be here and pick it up. They don't always store certain items for you. Baking items. So maybe you want some brownies. <laughs> you have some baking and cutting board there, mixing bowls, an ice bin there for you. They also have the 
dishwasher, plenty of cutlery as well. And then they do have this kitchen table, but what I also notice is there is seating as well here with bar stools. So you can seat people there as well and a few extra chairs that you could probably squeak in around the table there for everybody. Oh, look at this living room. I love this area here with the Simba icon on it and quite a few outlets here for if you need to plug in any electronics. I like that a lot. Oh, this is interesting. Look, you can hang something from there as well. Unless I'm completely wrong and that's for something else. But <laughs> before we go upstairs, oh, wow. There's a bedroom here. Oh, look at the headboard. I'm gonna assume that's Simba and Nala. <laughs> oh, and these are quite large bedrooms. Well, at least this one that I'm looking at right now. Your own TV in here, nice desk, plenty of space. We'll go out on the patio last, see what's out there once we're done checking out the room. Look at these lamps as well. Again, excellent. There is plenty of locations for you to plug in any electronics. And nowadays, I feel like there is multiple electronics for everybody in the house, you know, in your party that's there. And they're all over in this unit. And I think that that's really, really great. Um, you can put your luggage here, but also storage. So I'm assuming that this pops up. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, here. It's a drawer for you to put some things in. And... A second bathroom downstairs but before the second bathroom look you've got your extra pillows and blankets probably for the sofa out there and a safe another luggage rack so some great storage wow, <laughs> wow. okay okay you know for the ultimate relaxation I think I know it's on the other side of this door. Look at this. So you can sit in your nice jacuzzi tub and watch your favorite television program and just enjoy. This mural is so awesome. I love it. And then nice shower adjacent to it as well. Plenty of counter space here in this very very large bathroom and i think what's great is they have a secluded uh commode toilet area here oh and uh you know a phone should you need it in here <laughs> so you can come in here and still have privacy if somebody is using the shower or anything like that it's not one open space let's head upstairs oh i missed talking about this they've got the hey disney while you're here, you can ask me and my friend <laughs> questions. I'm just gonna say it so that it doesn't go off. And once you start interacting with it, it can help you. Look, it says right here, all the things that you can do, you can turn it off or on as far as the microphone, ask about the weather, tell me a joke. And that's nice that they have this card that gives you some suggestions of what exactly it can help you with. So that's awesome to see that the Hey Disney is here in this room and they've been getting them into the rooms throughout the resorts in the last year or so. Okay, let's go upstairs. I <laughs> So this is a three bedroom grand suite. I feel very grand, just the fact that there is a staircase here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at this. And another loft. So somebody could be watching TV up here. Now, you know what I wonder? If somebody's watching TV downstairs and it's kind of loud, would you really... Maybe the noise would conflict. But I still think it's really cool that you could sit up here 
and somebody could be watching their own program up here. So if you have a large group of people, maybe you want the kids to sit upstairs and relax, or uh, somebody wants to watch uh, another program, the space is here. They don't just have to sit in their room. Wow. Oh my word. This is beautiful. So this is bedroom number two. This has two beds, looks like two full beds, not necessarily queens. And again, they even have their Savannah view as well with a TV, with that pull-out drawer space. Another bathroom. So this is bathroom number three. And a shower and tub combo. You know, each of the bathrooms have had a little different look to them, which I like. I think that's pretty neat. And same thing here. Everybody can be getting ready, but there's a separate space for the toilet if there's some privacy needed, but you know, somebody can be getting ready or taking a shower and you still have that opportunity. Wow. Oh my word. This is just beautiful. Okay, and this is the third bedroom. Also looks like two full beds or two double beds here. So you could sleep quite a few people in this room absolutely could sleep quite a few people with the same TV storage space. And these are large. These bedrooms are the same size as a standard hotel room. So if you got a standard room over at I, Jumbo House that said, we'll say two double beds or two full beds, that's just simply the size of this room. So this is like having three to four rooms of your own in one space. This is absolutely, absolutely epic. This would be wonderful. Oh, I better flip on the light here. And let's check out. I should have flipped the lights on before I came in. That would have been smart, right? Again, extra pillow and blanket probably for that sofa there. So you could probably sleep somebody out there and extra luggage rack for you up on this one. So this light here is a little bit dim, so we'll just have to go with it. You know, just go with it for me while we turn this all on. Hi everybody. <laughs> um, and again, another tub shower combo. So you have three, actually four bathrooms, three bedrooms. So much space here. So much space. I don't think that there's any way that you would be bumping into one another. You could have a pretty large group and have a really enjoyable time with everybody having a nice spot to relax and enjoy. Let's go downstairs and take a look out onto the Savannah from this beautiful room. Okay. Now it is kind of the peak of the afternoon. So I imagine there's probably a lot of animals resting a lot of times you see the animals more active early in the morning or at dusk. Wow. Here's some of the giraffes way down there. Let's see if I can zoom in. So I've, when I have stayed, I've been lucky enough to stay twice. And having a room that overlooks the Savannah is just, not, unlike anything that you will ever experience for any resort short of maybe going to Africa itself or some sort of safari location. I've never in all my travels come across another resort like this one. It's kind of a very rare experience to have and to know that, you know, you can come home from your days at the park. This 
it tends to have a lot of availability uh, because it is the furthest away from Magic Kingdom. It's not connected to the parks like maybe the Skyliner or the monorail. So you do get a lot of people who have their reservations about staying in a place like this. But to me, I find this to be the ultimate in relaxation because the hustle and the bustle and the chaos of going to the parks and then you get to wake up in this serene savannah area maybe have some breakfast a quiet cup of coffee or come home and watch the animals just roaming and it is right now all you're hearing is me talking because that's that's what you hear that is what you hear on any normal day it's very quiet very peaceful the animals are enjoying their time down there in the savannah and it is a wonderful wonderful experience let me zoom out a little bit here but look at this. So the balcony here spans all the way across to that side. And upstairs, you can see those balconies as well on either side. So everybody in this grand suite can really truly enjoy the resort and overlooking this area. If you are contemplating staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, I highly, highly recommend it. It is one of my top resorts to stay at, at Walt Disney World. I think it doesn't get as much love as it should. Like I said, mainly because people like to have resorts that are really close to the parks. But for me, this gives me the relaxation and enjoyment that I really, really enjoy in a vacation. So, Let's head down and see what the lobby and more of the Kadani village side of the resort has to go by now that we've seen this unbelievable grand suite. I can't wait to see what's on this side and show you my favorite restaurant here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. One thing is even though our room was 7860, we are on level four and we want to go to the lobby which is on level two and you'll notice 78 doesn't really equate you think maybe it's the seventh floor it's actually we were on the fourth but let's go down to the lobby level here that's where we're gonna head to one of my favorite restaurants which is Sanaa where you can get your buses Second. you Four. have laundry fitness center the pool all of that going down Now, I also wanted to make a note. If you are concerned about walking long distances, this is a resort that has some very, very long hallways. Even though it is an interior hallway entrance, these hallways stretch for quite a while. So if you are concerned about the amount of walking, there's a couple of things that you might want to consider if you're staying here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So, as I, when I came in earlier in the video, we talked about how the first floor is underground parking for self parking. If you are parking, just make sure that you pick, you park by the elevator that's closest to your room. And that's why there's characters related to each elevator. Also, you can also talk to, and that will help cut down walking for you, you can also talk to the front desk before you make your reservation or maybe even the day of and express that you need something that's convenient for you as far as mobility or walking distance is concerned to what you are interested in. Because as you can see, the room that we were in was quite far between the lobby area and pool and where the room is and it's a gorgeous room but it's something that you should consider in some of the Walt Disney World resorts not just this one there's quite a few Disney resorts that are very sprawling that are spread out we are just heading up to the lobby here at Kidani so I got off that Rafiki elevator which is 
close to the lobby and this lobby is not as grand as the main jumbo house but still beautiful nonetheless has all the same amenities as the jumbo house we pointed out that they have a pool here they have a nice seating patio somebody's out there right now just sitting reading a book and enjoying they have a lot of artwork that's pertaining to the culture so this is very very small compared to the lobby we were just at at jumbo house but they have a nice gift shop and that's the one thing oh i forgot to point out in the video the jumbo house has a pretty large gift shop and you can go in there you can get plenty of things if you've forgotten any equipment uh, t-shirts sundries that sort of thing here little swimsuits for little ones they have snacks in the back here in this gift shop and let's head on down to Sanaa which is absolutely one of my favorite restaurants on Walt Disney World property this is the restaurant where you can sit and overlook the Savannah area and the animals while you dine Boma over at Jumbo House does not have that opportunity so over here at Sanaa they have breakfast or you can get to go hi how are you so 7 30 a.m and then they have lunch and dinner and they have a lounge available too and everybody knows this resort and associates it with the bread service it is well known <laughs> and this is another restaurant where i highly recommend to go ahead and get a reservation so here's breakfast menu and you can also get sana to go so that is one option that they've added recently these are cocktails and beer uh, but here is the lunch menu this is that bread service that i was talking about that's excellent for everybody to share i highly recommend it if you have not already tried sana add this to your to-do list they have great appetizers and entrees from both the lunch and the dinner menu and i haven't had breakfast here but i'm sure it's equally delicious and same thing the the bread service here a couple different kinds of bread five different kinds of breads and then the accompaniments the essentially dips that you can put with it and oh they're all phenomenal absolutely phenomenal So over on this side, the overlook area to the Savannah is a little bit smaller, but here, you guys, you'll find this funny. Here, this is how far we walked. So that you can see in the distance, we'll zoom in. Look, this is the grand suite that we were just in by this giraffe. So we walked all the way here, I'll now zoom out, all the way down and around into here. <laughs> So this is quite a large resort, but many of their Disney resorts are. So something to consider when booking this resort or just talk to the front desk. I know that they are very happy to accommodate anything that you might need uh, to make your stay more enjoyable. And you can see lots of rooms that border this Savannah Overlook area. And then there's a number of guests and families here that are enjoying the seating and the quiet. So we won't go back over there. But let's head out and we'll check out the pool and wrap up this video. Here's an overall directory of the Kadani village versus the Jombo house area. 
So we just took a look at where our grand suite was, Sanaa, the main lobby, and out here for the community hall. They have an arcade that we didn't get into, but let's head down to see Samawati Springs, which is the pool deck area. And this gives you a good perspective here on the Jumbo House, kind of where it lies compared to where we are right now. So it's a little bit of a walk in between. And just like Jumbo House, they have their own set of activities. You don't have to run over to the other side to do any of these. Now, some of it is, some of it is shared. You can go to different areas, but you can just stay right here at this side of the resort and never leave and still have all of the great things that the Jumbo House side does. There's a fitness center right over here. There is, it's hard to see a little bit, but I want to go in there. Uh, there may be people working out. There's lots of treadmills here, elliptical bikes. There's some kettlebells and weights available for you. And we'll just take a quick look at the pool deck. This was not just Harper, but my older kids. This is their favorite spot. They really enjoyed the water playground that's here that's themed and i gotta be careful in this <laughs> spray section here because man i'll get drenched these kids have no mercy i'll tell you <laughs> and so they love this water playground lots of these benches you might recognize these because these are similar to what they have at the animal kingdom at the Animal Kingdom theme park. So a really nice pool deck here that also has water slides. So they have a smaller water slide right here and then a bigger water slide up there. And then another zero entry spot over here. That wraps up our unbelievable day exploring the Animal Kingdom Lodge, checking out the Jumbo House side and that un unbelievable three bedroom grand villa here at Kadani Village. To be honest, I could spend hours, hours, showing you guys around this resort, both sides. The, as a deluxe resort, it has so many wonderful perks and the unique amenities that are only at this resort. If you are thinking about it, please, it is almost like a once in a lifetime opportunity and I don't know any other resort like it. My family loves coming here. I bet your family will love it too. If you have any questions or comments about the Animal Kingdom Lodge, please put it down here on the video. We'd love to hear it. Otherwise, we'd love to hear your thoughts as well about what resort you'd like to see next. Thanks for coming along with me to check out the Animal Kingdom Lodge and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.